Yeah, I know this might seem so glamorous and so wonderful, but we're always stuck in traffic and we only had one meal of the day and it's five o'clock. and welcome to the beginning of another weekly vlog. Today we are starting it in a countryside, in a proper British countryside. We're at Soho Farmhouse with the outlet tonight and tomorrow we're leaving sadly, but I want to steer, stay here forever. What about you, Chris? Forever, it's so beautiful. It's like... Shall we show them a bit? Yeah, okay, so this is the car that brought us to our piglet. It's just leaving, it's like a milk van. Would you call that milk van? Milk I have no idea. All I know is that I feel like I'm in high school again. Look, you have some wellies there. If you need some wellies, you got some. I want to show you our cabin because I'm obsessed. When you enter... <laughs> I think I'm so excited. Do you know what? I'm worried though it's going to get cold now because the door's open. Okay. But it's not a tent. Um, first of all, um, this is amazing, right? It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Like, Look at this bathroom, it's all kind of wood and rustic and beautiful, like from here you have the overview, it's just very relaxing. This is proper, proper relaxation place. Um, like I told you guys, we're here with the outlet, so they let me choose a few dresses for tonight's dinner. This is a Carolina Herrera open back sequin silver dress. I mean, I know it's not like your typical countryside outfit, but we are having dinner with all the girls later. Uh, first we have yoga though. Um, and here I have two more dresses. So this green one, which is Elisab. And then I also chose one from Attico. I love Attico. Lately I'm a little bit obsessed. So we're gonna choose what dress I'm gonna wear tonight. They've also kindly gifted me these Louboutin babies. Do you like? They're really cool, yeah. So cool, right? I don't have anything like this. A cage sandals. So I'm very excited to try these on. But there's a box. On bed here with oh wow there is a box of juices like spirulina broccoli spinach apple kiwi banana lemon from rdctd it says share the codes tomorrow for 15 percent off for your friends well there you go my friends there's also a pajama like a silk pajama from iris and ink which says tomorrow on here and Order magazine for us to enjoy tonight when we snuggle up in the bed. Anyway, we need to get ready. Are we running late? Yeah. Ooh. We have yoga, yeah. Ten minutes? Yeah. Yoga class, I'm gonna change now. Let's go. Hello. How are you doing Very well, thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's just two of you. Yeah. Yes, just two of us. which was wonderful. Now at uh, the massage area. Not sure if you can see me, but I'm about to get my uh, kind of like workout clothes off. I will link everything that I was wearing below. I'm a little bit wet because it's raining outside and we biked <laughs> here. So I'm gonna get ready for a relaxing massage now. I had to take the bicycles because it's cold and now <laughs> we took someone else's bicycles. So we have four outside of our little house. Now it's relaxation time. Well, actually, it was relaxation all along. Now it's like shower time. We just made it to the dinner and it's so stunning. Wow. Good morning. It's a new day. And your girls are getting on bikes. Yeah, clever call, Chris. Getting on bikes because we are going out there check out the stables I think oh my god it's so cold Chris huh it's actually like colder ice. than I thought yeah it looks so sunny and pretty we got a bottle of milk 
delivered because you know uh, we need to close the door it's a new day at Soho farmhouse and uh, we just came to see the stables well to see the horses and to see the stables and to pet them i took a few pictures that i will show you now because they're just like such cute pretty horses they're so well looked after and beautiful but we're both cold very cold i'm freezing do you want a coffee maybe <laughs> yeah but let's ride a bike a little bit more yeah but we're gonna please okay let's not moan I'm gonna go and explore this place a little bit more and then have a coffee. It's a new day, we are back in London and we're doing a tiny little bit of shopping for Otto week because I just need a few pieces that will kind of take me into the whole fashion week month. Um, and we're at Selena now, and I found a piece that I was looking for at Harrods, but I couldn't find it, but I got lucky now. Good morning, everybody. I completely forgot to vlog. Well, I didn't really forgot yet. We just had so much work going on that, like, what did we do? We did a lot of emails, but we flew to Paris super late last night. We were packing, we flew, we didn't take the train for the first time just because it was more convenient on this occasion. We checked in last night at like 2 a.m. and now we're at this cafe called Wild Moon, right? Wild and Moon. Oh. Okay. I'm having this thing called Blue Magic Ball, which is like kind of healthy spirulina bowl and the charcoal latte and I'm actually really enjoying it. We're here in Paris for Haute Couture and I have four shows today which I will take you to, hopefully. I'll try and be my best self so I can practice for the fashion month. Inside of the car as you can probably see on our way to the first show of the day which is going to be Uliana Sergenko. I have like four shows and a fitting today so there's quite a schedule. Um, it's a beautiful morning, it is quite cold but you know and I will show you later what I'm wearing. I'm wearing new shoes that I got in Celine in London actually during this week. This is my outfit of the day. It's nothing too special. I think what makes this outfit are the new shoes. Can you see the new shoes? They are so good. This is my recently added in my wardrobe coat, Chanel coat that I got in Vienna on sale. And my Chanel blue boy bag that you all love so much from my video. Oh, and my sunglasses, we shall not forget them. I actually don't know the brand. Prada. Prada. Prada sunglasses because you know one of my many in my vast collection of sunglasses and then last but certainly not least these new Celine babies in burgundy color Ta -da! well done Hello. Now we are slightly running late to Iris Van Herpen show, but all the shows are delayed. That's kind of this life. After that, we have George Obeka, which is a Lebanese designer. And then we have one hour break before a fitting with uh, at Carla Auto, which is an agency. I'm trying to update you a little bit about everything that's going on, just so you can kind of get a little glimpse of what is fashion. We are. Okay, definitely life changing so much. Just one you to see what's it like me sitting in the car having to listen to Christina sing. Oh, life is so hard. The venue we're going to now I'm quite familiar with because I actually went to quite a few shows there so, so we're going to K Mala K I think. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I know K you pronounce K but the other word I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't show you a bit of Eiffel Tower in the 
background. Uh, we are now in Plaza Trocadero. I got my sunglasses on as well. I will link everything below and we're going to George Hobeka who's a Lebanese designer. That's our third show of the day and the last one before a small lunch break. So yeah, let's go and see what he's got prepared for us. Okay, we just arrived to the George Hobeka venue which is stunning. Uh, I mean... This gentleman here is escorting me to my seat. I'm seated. I think the show's about to start soon-ish. Have the most incredible view of Eiffel Tower, which I will show you in a second. much because we had um, some work to do but we have an appointment at Carlotta offices now for a fitting so let's do that now I changed by the way but I'll show you that later hello hello Alors, qui dit étude dit travail, qui dit taf te dit étude, qui dit argent dit dépense, qui dit crédit dit créance, qui dit dette te dit huissier, lui dit assis dans la merde, et qui dit amour dit les gosses, dit toujours et dit divorce, qui dit so stress right now, trying to arrive to Ralph and Rousseau. Previous show, she was running like no, no, there's no one in the car. made it to Ralph and Russo I'm very surprised because in all honesty I didn't think I was gonna make it since it was so busy but okay just let's just let's just I was gonna scare her I love you so much these girls here and then these more and then we have mariachi as well over there I cannot judge because I ordered the same. Exactly. My special no, Santa's little helper who actually organized all of these tables for us. Okay guys, I didn't really get to update you earlier because we've been running like crazy around Paris. And right now I'm at Azaro show. Uh, gonna hopefully start very soon. It's late. It's nine o'clock Parisian time and the only meal I had today was like a proper meal besides breakfast was that avocado toast and eggs. So, welcome to the fashion week life. And it's another day in Paris. We actually forgot to film this morning from our Isabel Moran appointment. But it's snowing in Paris and it's so hard to vlog because it's so cold, so my battery keeps dying. But we're now going for a Dior appointment to see their pre-fall collection, which I'm very excited about. So we're going to report from there next. Giovanni Bedin just checking out the dresses which are stunning and Le Partner in crime what's your favorite? I like this one yeah and the blues very pretty 
but it just doesn't work because outside it's snowing as you can see. I made a little break today and arrived to my favorite Louis Vuitton store in Paris which is the one in, on Boulevard Saint Germain. This is my lucky store, okay, because two years ago, January, Odd Couture, I bought here my twist bag. I'll insert the picture. So I really wanted to pop in the Saint Germain boutique and try my luck to see if I can find one of the two bags that I'm really looking for so, so much. And I was lucky. Even though there's like a six month waiting list for this bag, it's mine. You're not gonna show it now? No, it's a surprise. It's gonna be a surprise. Okay. I'm so happy. While we're waiting for them just to uh, pack the bag, checking out everything else in boutique. Does anybody still go crazy about Louis Vuitton belts? I feel like I really don't wear mine. But then I wear my arch light sneakers so much and I wouldn't change them for anything. Even though mine are gray, I am obsessed with them. They're even here with me in Paris. I, like I said, I never actually tried any of their fragrances, but I would really, really love to try a Louis Vuitton fragrance. Hello, everybody. It's a new day. I think so. <laughs> I don't really manage to vlog much. But today we are in Parisian home of Terry from Buy Terry Come Here, Karen. what it was craziest. Can you? I don't even know what we filmed. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. Do you know what we filmed? I have no idea what we did this morning. I mean, <laughs> like, honestly, no. I, like, no, I don't know because it's been like so crazy. But very excited for the last show. I remember us shooting here in this bookstore when we were here for Fred de Porte. Um, just went to Victor and Rolf's show before, which I will insert now for you to have a look at. Okay, now that you saw that, um, I also wanted to show you what I'm wearing because I'm wearing a Victorian robe dress that I actually love. Yeah, it looks so good on you. It's you so look cool. so hot and so elegant. It's wow. I think we're just very happy that it's the last show. Yeah, I know this might seem so glamorous and so wonderful, but we're always stuck in traffic and we only had one meal of the day and it's five o'clock. Just breakfast. We, yeah, we combined lunch and breakfast. We had it at 12. Because I was at that lunch, but because it was so like rushed, I didn't really sit and eat properly, you know? So I was more like socializing with my friends. And now we're going to Zuhair Murat, who is a Lebanese designer and he makes dresses you can imagine so I'm very excited to show you that now sorry guys it's a bit bumpy yeah and then tonight is a dinner night we are celebrating tonight the end are you happy with how everything went so happy oh so happy <laughs> <laughs> I 
sat down to film this video because it's my last morning in Paris. I can hear some drilling outside, but you know what? It's Paris and that's basically what happens. The conditions are not ideal. First the drilling, which you can hear uh, sporadically outside. Then the light, which I hope is gonna be fine. It's just like a generic kind of hotel room light. And the truth be told, it's very messy because, um, well, you know, it's our last day unpacking and leaving to London. It's actually very early in the morning. I wanna leave early because I'm gonna be home early. It's 8.49 now. I'm just gonna get on the first train that I can get. I wanted to unbox this box, obviously because I'm not gonna carry this on Eurostar and I know all of you want me to unbox it for you guys so of course I'm gonna do it and another thing that I'm gonna do and wanted to tell you is um, that this purchase is on you guys literally like when I watched my last my last video is my Louis Vuitton collection video and all of you were like you need to get this you need to get that you need to get this and I was like guys seriously however a little digression this is not the only thing I got in Paris I got something pretty freaking amazing and I'm gonna talk to you about that in next video probably or one of the next videos but I cannot wait to tell you more I will give a little hint in this video but before I do that I think you guys might know what this is it's something that I wanted but I couldn't find and you all were like you need to find it tomorrow we believe in you you need to get it you need it it is essential for you to have it. Tamara, yes, buy it. So, you little enablers, I love you so much. And I'm so happy to reveal to you this stunning can bag. Can as in the city, not as in what you drink Diet Coke from or whatever you like to drink. The beauty of this bag is in its shape, I would say. This is the shape. It's kind of like round but then where it sits next to your body if you wear it with a shoulder it's flat so like this and I actually am so happy that I got it because there's a huge waiting list for this bag but the woman in Saint Germain boutique decided to give it to me um, it actually comes with a shoulder strap so she said actually I'm gonna give it to you even though there is someone on the waiting list for it because she said that the other lady that's on the waiting list is gonna pick it up in several weeks time she doesn't live in Paris and she will get another one it shows that I completely jumped the queue I mean I guess you know what matters to them is that everybody of their clients is happy with getting what they're getting so I literally walked in the boutique and I knew exactly what I wanted and that also helped I was like please you have this and they were like there's a waiting list for it but when they saw how determined that was and how much I wanted it they decided to give it to me so I'm very very happy I don't know anybody in my kind of circle that has this bag which makes me happy and I really love it so much there's the reverse monogram and the original monogram on top and it matches my case that I managed to get in Paris is over here and let me tell you it's not a pair of shoes it's not a belt it's not something small yes it is what you might think it is and I will tell you all about it in one of my next videos or probably my next video until then I will love you and leave you I have to pack I'm dying to see my sister I'm so excited to go back home to my nephews and just to have some home time before we travel to Hawaii in, after the weekend so very excited to go back home now Thank you for watching this video. So sorry if it was all over the place a little bit, but I promise I tried my best and I will always try my best for you guys. And that's pretty much it. Au revoir Paris. Let's go London.